friends, it's Lisa back with a new layout for the Hip Kid Club. For this layout, I was inspired by this sketch. Um, yeah, so I have to admit when I have to make sketches, like layouts inspired by sketches, I have a little bit of trouble. I am not the kind of person who likes sketches. Sometimes I like, I'm like, okay, you don't really have to look for an idea by yourself. But when I look at the sketch, mostly even if it's a very cute and beautiful sketch, I'm lost. <laughs> uh, so, okay, I, um, but yeah, this time I really like how it turned out and I'm getting used to making sketch sketches. Uh, and so now the, um, the layouts that I make, um, most of the time I like them at the end. Uh, okay, so I started by using the exclusive um, Project Life cards from the Proje Project Life kit. And I used the parts of the cards that I liked. I used the colors that I liked and I just cut them in different shapes and different sizes and so I created this little collage where all the pieces would be a little bit um, yeah, scattered around. And I really like the different uh, colors and patterns and it looks already very fresh and fun and I really like that. So the idea was to create this cluster of flowers at the, at the top of the page and also uh, on the bottom. And I wanted to use all kinds of leaves from the kits. I wanted to use cutout leaves from the patterned papers. I wanted to use the vellum leaves and the, um, uh, what do you call those plasticky things. So, and I also wanted to use some ephemera pieces and some cardstock pieces. But what I was doing there, I didn't really like. The colors were too bold um, compared to the beautiful and um, pastel colors I had on the cards. So I didn't really like it. Here are some leaves that I cut out previously for a layout that I did some weeks ago. And I wanted to include some of those, but also I, I skipped that idea because it, it didn't work for me. So uh, after looking for several several ideas, I uh, wanted to use the flowers also, and then I went back to those leaves. Um, what do you call this again? It's not vellum; it's acetate. The acetate um, uh, leaves. Um, they were too bold. They were too dark, and I didn't like it. So. Then after trying all of those ideas, I was like, okay, no, I'm sticking with those vellum leaves because they have the exact tone that the colors have. And then I um, thought of just creating some big flowers. I just cut some flowers from the patterned papers, just like so, like you see there. I don't like to trace, <laughs> I just cut. And um, I was looking for a center for the flowers on those chipboard stickers, but they were too small and I couldn't find the right, the right thing to put in there. And so I did what I, I do a lot of times now, uh, like I did this a few times the last weeks. And also I made a flower on the last um, workshop that I did making a mini album. And I also made a flower like this with the little uh, puffy center. I hope you could see how I make it. I just use a circle and then I fold it around until I have this puffy center. And um, I use some very sticky uh, dots here because those puffy centers don't really want to stick. <laughs> So I try to, uh, yeah, to just take a look at what it would look like uh, if I did it that way. And then I went through all of my pictures to find the right picture. And if you are asking yourself, um, 
how I make my layouts, if I have the picture first and then the layout, or if I make the layout and choose the picture after, then here you have the answer. <laughs> I'm looking for my pictures after I have the layout or um, the idea. So I went with this picture because it was black and white and with all the colors going on, I couldn't really find a picture that would match with the colors. Um, yeah, I'm just uh, gluing the flower together and for my title, I'm using those uh, die cuts from, yeah, from the kits. And I love the die cuts that we got this month for no, no, uh, not November, October kits. They are so, so cool to use and you can back them with uh, patterned papers, how you like, and it's very, very cool. So I backed my photo, or I mat matted my photo with uh, some patterned papers and some um, rests and um, scraps from, um, yeah, from patterned papers and the cards. And then I'm adding some colors and I'm cutting this pocket life card to have some pink pops. That's what I like, pink. <laughs> uh, yeah, and then just adding the, the leaves to see how it lo looks. And then when I'm happy, I put glue underneath all of the cards and I don't want to um, yeah, uh, take like put them away or yeah, take them away from the layout layout because I will never get it the way I had it and I don't like to take pictures and recreate it. So I try just to put glue underneath and then I'm taking my uh, square ruler to see if everything is straight. And I really really like the colors of the cards. And they look so, so, so happy. The colors are amazing. So I will back this um, die cut that says sweet after <laughs> I'm adhering my picture with some foam tape. Just looking where I should put my title and the hearts, which I think are very cute. And I like white, white, um, yeah, accents on my layouts. So I'm backing this die cut with this very beautiful pattern paper from the Paige Evans Truly Grateful Collection. And I just um, glued it down and cut around, um, cutting the axis off. And then this one, I wanted to have some color too. And I do what I do a lot of times. I'm just cutting around, leaving some, some space, uh, leaving a little border. And I love, 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 love that look. And I think it looks very cool like this. So, and then, yeah, I'm just creating another flower to have one on, on the uh, on top of the page and on the bottom of the page and I'm just using um, colors that match but not exactly the same colors that I had on the previous flower but I'm using the same center because that green color I didn't really have on the layout and uh, I wanted to balance the whole thing just using it again to have it in different spots of the layout and I think you can see what I'm doing here I hope. <laughs> with the I, I meant with the puffy puffy little center. <laughs> Obviously you can see what I'm doing. Um yeah, so just seeing which um which leaves to use and how I want to place them. And already I was very happy uh, how it looked because um, like I said, I'm almost never really happy with the layouts I create from sketches, but here I was like, okay, it's working. Okay, I'm good, I'm fine. <laughs> no need to panic. So putting some foam squares behind the word sweet and behind the word memories and sticking the whole thing down. 
to create some, some dimension. So cute. <laughs> and then I'm gluing the hearts and the flowers and the leaves. But I was still, um, there was still something missing for me. So uh, while I did this, I was thinking about what could I add to this layout to make it more Lisa-like. And the fox, uh, this the fox sticker, the this one, I really wanted to use it, but the black was not working. Even though my picture is black and white, I think the black this time was not really working. So yeah, I went through the stickers and I added some leaves and I think those leaves are really, um, yeah, just making the whole thing look balanced and whole and finished. And then those leaves are the cutest and the colors are the cutest ever. So I cut them out and I also use them to finish the bouquets or the clusters. So yeah. Now, <laughs> you were probably already thinking, where's the frame on this layout? <laughs> well, it's coming now. Um, yeah, you know, if you have been watching my channel for some time, you know that I love to frame my layouts. I love closed layouts, not open open pages so and this is yeah for me it's what makes the whole thing look perfect I love I love layouts from other designers that ha that don't have frame I love them but on my layouts I just think that it looks better like this adding some hearts and then yeah the final idea that I had to make this more me <laughs> I still, uh, like I said, I wanted to use the fox, but it didn't work. So I created my own fox that I just um, drew using, not using, but uh, inspired by the fox on the, on the stickers. And here uh, I will cut the fox out, but you will not see it. <laughs> I'm sorry for that. Sometimes I'm, I forget that I'm filming and I just, yeah, I'm not really in a frame of the, of my phone. That's my cat in front of the door meowing to get in. <laughs> if you heard it, I don't know. Um, and also uh, on my little animals that I do, I love them to have a frame. Uh, most of the time the, those, this, those frames are white and I think it just gives the whole thing the perfect final touch. So drawing the eyes, putting this little bow, which I think is super, 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 super cute. And finishing the ears and also creating some little cheeks like always. And um, yeah, and also adding some white details, which I love to do, and which I think makes them really pop out and come to life. Yeah, so I cut it out, leaving this white border, and yeah, using foam knots to make it stand out more. And then what will I do? I will use some more puffy hearts and dots 
to um, yeah put some little dots of color and to make it more fun <laughs> oh yeah and using this little little flower on my fox Here are some enamel uh, shapes, enamel hearts that look very good too on the layout and the colors are just, I love the colors on this layout, it's just amazing. And then I'm using my black pen to just trace this line, I, I love to do that when the layouts are very straight that, and the pages are not warped from colors and, and mixed media, then it looks very good. And the final touch will be some um, gold Heidi Swap uh, color shine. <laughs> yeah, so thank you so much for being here and watching, friends. I'll see you very, 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 very soon. And yeah, have a great week. Thank you. Bye bye.